Hi, my name is Sarah Ford, and today I'm going to talk to you about hypoglycemia. What is hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, or low blood glucose, is defined as a low blood sugar less than 70. Signs and symptoms can occur when your blood glucose falls below 70, or when your blood sugar drops quickly, even though your blood sugar levels may be in a normal range. Some symptoms of low blood sugar may be dizzy, shaky, sweaty, confusion, or blurred vision. Some causes of low blood sugar may be too little food or skipping a meal, drinking alcohol without food, not planning for physical activity, too much medication, such as insulin or maybe certain diabetes pills. If able to, check your blood sugar and confirm that you are low. If your blood sugar falls below 70 or less than 80 with symptoms, treat it right away. If you are in a situation where you cannot check your blood sugar, go ahead and treat it anyways. Some ways to treat a low blood sugar. You wanna take 15 grams of carbohydrate. Some examples may be four ounces of fruit juice, eight ounces of skim milk, six ounces of regular soda, seven to eight gummy bears, two tablespoons of raisins. If blood glucose is less than 50, you want to pick one of these options and take double, so 30 grams of fast-acting carbohydrate. What could happen if your low blood sugar is left untreated? The child could become unconscious, have a seizure, have brain damage, or even death. Do not treat a low blood sugar with chocolate, peanut butter, or other high-fat foods. High fat foods delay the absorption of the carbohydrates and will not allow the blood sugar to increase fast enough. It's very important to check the blood sugar 10 to 15 minutes after treating it. If the blood sugar is still less than 70, repeat the treatment again. If low blood sugar is not at mealtime and the next meal will be more than one hour, then you should have a 15 gram carbohydrate snack that includes protein. This snack should be after the initial treatment of 15 grams of carbohydrate. Some examples of these snacks could be crackers with cheese or peanut butter or a granola bar. For insulin users who become unconscious or who are unable to swallow, do not give anything by mouth due to risk of choking. Administer glucagon Turn patient on their side and call 911. What is glucagon? Glucagon is a hormone that is given as an injection when a person has a low blood sugar and cannot swallow or is unconscious. Glucagon raises blood sugar. Who needs glucagon? You, should, you and a designated person should learn to use glucagon if you have type 1 diabetes, have ever lost consciousness from a low blood sugar, take three or more injections of insulin a day or on an insulin pump, or if you are unable to feel your symptoms of low blood sugar. Steps to administering glucagon. First, you're gonna remove the cap from the vial of powder, inject the dilute, diluting solution into the vial, Make sure you do not remove the needle at this time. Mix the solution by rolling it in your hands gently. Turn the vial upside down and draw the solution into the syringe. Push any air out of the syringe. Administer the glucagon intramuscularly. The needle may be administered through clothing, so even jeans or thick pants. Glucagon will most likely cause vomiting so it's very important to turn the patient on their side to prevent aspiration. Call 911 immediately. 
Glucose may be checked once the glucagon is actually administered. It's not important to check the blood sugar prior to administering the glucagon. Some reminders. Always carry a low blood sugar treatment with you. Confirm your glucagon is up to date. It states it right on the vial. Wear identification that says you have diabetes. Teach family, friends, and coworkers to notice the signs and symptoms and treatments of low blood sugar. Monitor your blood sugar before and after physical activity. Check your blood sugar before you drive or use heavy machinery in every 60 to 90 minutes while driving to ensure your blood sugar is at least 100. It's very important to also make sure your blood sugar is at least 100 prior to driving. Thank you, that's all I have for low blood sugar.